trees and the old trees and it's been that way all my life yeah. but God started from nothing what's God's limitation there isn't any yeah. amen yeah. only our lack of faith yes. only our taking God and putting him into the image we want him to be right. instead of letting him be God yes amen, amen. Yes. but he, he said here I want you to listen to what I said and the, and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God. Amen. The Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. 
the Spirit of God. Yes, blessing God. If He can move on the face of the waters, how much more could He move on us? Yes. If we put our confidence in Him. Yes, amen. Like we ought to. Amen. He says, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. Amen. Just from His Spirit moving yes, and just speaking the Word, this all came into existence from nothing. Amen. And as He would say it, it would happen. Yes. Yes. I found that His Word is still good today. Yes, it is. If He says it, it's going to come to pass. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Some folks say, well, if the Lord said it, I believe it, and that settles it. If He said it, it's settled. Right. No matter whether you and I believe it or not, it's settled. Amen. It's settled in heaven. Amen. 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 This is the one says, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light, and God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And there's nothing but just the waters. Amen. He spoke it and his spirit's moving. But he's going to divide the waters from the waters. Uh -huh. yeah. I really didn't think of it, but it just hit me. There's fresh water and there's salt water. Yeah. Amen. There's sulfur water. Yeah. Amen. There's water with iron in it. But God separated it all at his word and the movement of his spirit. Amen. Listen. Oh, praise the Lord. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let, the, let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, firmament, firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. Now let's get an idea of what's this firmament. He put something there and he divided the waters that was below it from the waters that was above it. You ever think about the clouds and the sky, the heavenly? Right. Amen. And did you ever think Deanna and I was riding the other day when we was coming from front, uh, not front but you leave. And she looked and there was a big black cloud. And she said, look how dark that cloud is, but it's got a silver lining. And I said, yeah, and the one time that I was on a plane, we went up above that. And where that silver line is, it's all solid black, look like cotton. You can step out and walk upon. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, amen. But I told her, God made all of that from nothing. He made it. Yes, amen. He made it to where that whenever the water evaporates and goes up, and it could be salt water when it goes up. Yeah. It's coming back fresh water. Right. Come on. Yeah. I'm talking about how awesome our God is. Oh, I'm talking about there's nothing my God can't do. If I can get a hold of this, say amen, and, and use it like all to, to encourage me, praise the Lord. We cut God so much short from what He actually is. Amen. Listen. And God called the firm of heaven and the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. Come on. God's Spirit moved upon the waters. Yes. And they rolled back and dry land appeared from nothing. Yes. Are we getting a hold of that from nothing? Oh, thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God yes. we yes. serve. I don't know about you, but I feel something all over me tonight. Glory to God. We're serving an awesome God. Yes, yes. Amen. Thank we you. put limitations on Him, but there is no limitation with God. That's and we can get a hold of that tonight. Lord, help me to bring it across. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. And God called the dry land earth and to gather together the waters called he sees, and God saw that it was good. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Everything God's ever done was good. Yes. He's yes. never done me nothing but good. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. I'm the one that put the hindrances on him by not being obedient, not believing. Amen. I, I'm trying to help you to see. We put limitations on God. Let's take the limitations off and realize how powerful He is. He's a mighty God. Amen. And there's nothing that He cannot do. Praise the Lord forever. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass. Come on, church. Amen. Here we have, we've got this field out here where we took up the roots and hauled this dirt in and all that we was talking about come spring planting grass. God didn't have no seed. Amen. That, that, that soil had never known anything and God said let there be grass. And guess what? There was grass. I want you to get it. He's taking nothing and making something. Now if He can take nothing and make something out of it, why can't He take us and make something out of us? If we will get yielded to Him and obey the Spirit of the Lord as He speaks to our heart. Amen. God help me tonight. Praise the Lord. And the herb yielding seed and the fruit tree yielding fruit after His kind whose seed is in itself upon the earth and it was so. Amen. I want you to get a hold of this. He made the tree. He made it to bring forth fruit. And it had seed in the fruit. And it, whenever it hit the ground, come on, it sprung up another tree just like the one that He had just made. Come on. Over there around my house when I moved there, way back in the back, there was a few pecan or a few Yankee pecan trees back there. I'm a southern boy that was picking in trees back there. Amen. And all of a sudden the squirrels started messing around and the next thing you know I got a pecan tree coming up in my yard. All the way down my fence line now, there's pecan trees coming up after their own kind. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Yes. They, they, that's all that dropped the pecan down there and a pine tree come up. Right. Come on. Amen. God fixed it so the earth will take care of itself yes. as far as reproducing. Yes. Come on. Yes. Praise the Lord. And, and, and I want you to get away with this tonight. There's nothing and God made something out of it. Praise yes. the Lord. Yes. Listen to what it says. And it was so when He said it, it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after its kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind. And God saw that it was good. Amen. So far, he hasn't made anything that was good. Right? Glory to God. And the evening and the morning were the third day. And God said that there be lights in the firmament, in the sky, in the heavens. Come on. Yeah. Don't you notice it said lights? Right. Yes. He didn't say a light. He first, first said, let there be light. Right. Right. Now he said, let there be lights. Yes. He wants something there that's going to continue yes. forever. Yes. yes. Amen. Have you seen the Lord today? I woke up this morning, went outside, yes. and the first thing I seen was evidence of God. Yes. The sun's coming yes. up over there. Amen. 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 Whenever it begins to get dark, I see signs of my God. Yes. And His work is still standing. Yes. The stars start to come out. Uh, yeah. Praise the Lord. Listen. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament and the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and seasons and for days and years. Amen. Yes. We have a different uh, shape of the moon, a quarter of the moon, every month that goes around. Come on. Amen. And that's science. And I thought about how they used to the navigator by the North Star. He said, let it be for God. It's been right there ever since God put it there. Come on. And it's not changed. It continues to come up at the same time. That's why man does the changing. God, man's tried to interfere and change everything that God's got. There's no such thing as daylight saving time with God. Come on. Amen. We want to change it back in the in, in the fall and we want to move it forward in the spring. That sun don't pay that no attention. It just right. keeps coming. That moon keeps coming up right the time just like God said for it to. Yes. Yeah. Amen. When He puts it in place, it's in place. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Come on. Praise God. Oh, you ain't getting a hold of this like I am. Praise Lord. Glory to God. 
He said, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven and give light unto the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. And He made the stars also. Yes, He did. Amen. Come on. Actually, to be quite honest with you, from the way they explain it to me and these scientists, and I believe they're probably right on this, God made the sun bright for the daytime. He made the moon to reflect the sun so it wouldn't be as bright Come on. Amen. As the daytime. Right. Come on, church. Blessing God. And it's still that way. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. That North Star is still right where it was when God put that. Right. Yes. Amen. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. What an awesome God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. <laughs> Amen. And God set them in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth. And to rule over the day and over the night and divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. 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 <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Then said God, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life and fowl that may fly above the earth in, op in the open firmament of heaven. Now He's putting the fish in the water to breathe water. Yeah. Huh? Praise God. Come on. They get oxygen out of the water uh -huh. because God says so. That's right. Amen. And then He's got the fowls that can fly in the air uh -huh. because God said so. Amen. And I've never seen anybody training a bird how to fly. No. <laughs> and I've never seen anybody training a fish how to swim. No. Come on. Right. Amen. They still do just what God planned for them to do. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise yes. the Lord. Listen. God bless him. Thank God find a place again. 21. Praise the Lord. And God created great whales. Yes. Oh, when I read that song, I said, well, that fish that swallowed Johnny, it wasn't a whale. Amen. Well, that said, God made whales. Yes, Amen. Now, Jesus even said in one place that Jonah was swallowed by a whale. Yes, Amen. Yes. And I had somebody, I told them to read the book of Jonah, and they was reading the book of Jonah, and they come to me, and I, I, I give them some scriptures reading. They read Jonah, and they read two or three other books, and they come back and say, well, you know, I could believe it all until I got to that place where that fish swallowed Jonah. And he, and he lived through that. He said, I, I had a little problem there. I said, you didn't read it right. No. I said, it didn't say that it was just a fish swallowed on it. It said, God prepared. Yes. Uh -huh. God prepared a fish. No, <laughs> nobody can live. I've caught bass that would have crabs in them and they'd be plump mushy from the acid in their stomach. Uh -huh. You couldn't live in there, but God prepared it. Yes. Come yes. on. And Jonah lived through it yes. whenever he repented. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Amen. God made the whale. Now listen to this. The fish... And breathing water and getting oxygen. But here's a bigger fish, mammal, not a fish, but a mammal that's uh -huh. living in the water, breathing air. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah. What a mighty God we serve. Yes. Amen. Now I'm getting to something. If He can do all this, He can do pretty well what I ask Him to. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. But He can do more of what He would like for me to do through me if I realize how mighty He is. Yes. But we limit God. The only limitations on God is where you and I live. Amen. I believe I'm at verse 22. 21. 21. And God created great wells and an ever-living creature that moveth, which, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind. And every wing fell after His kind, and God saw that it was good. 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 Amen. He don't do nothing but good. He ain't never done me nothing Thank but good. good. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the sea, and let fowl multiply in the earth. The fish still stay in the sea, and the fowl still in the earth. Just like God said to them. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Verse 23. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. 
And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and the beasts of the earth after his kind, and it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after his kind, and everything that creepeth on the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. 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 <laughs> Amen. And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creepy thing that creepeth upon the earth. Amen. Now I want us to notice something. He said he's going to create man in his image. Right. Huh? Yes. And he said he was going to give man authority right. over all these beasts. Right. Over all these fowls. Right. Over all these fish. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's going to make us like him. Yes. Come on. Uh -huh. We should have that power. And I've seen just about every kind of animal good trained at one time or another. Come on. Yes. Man has that power. Now, I'll get there in just a minute. <laughs> Lord help. Praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. And God said, let us make men in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over, over the fish of the sea and over the fowls there and over the cattle and over the, all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And I'm going to throw this out there and you do what you want to do. You get upset with me. You do. I've seen this in my own eyes. I heard it in my own ears. And it's a lie straight out of hell. I seen Benny Hinn say that Adam was the first Superman. And he convinced Paul and Jim Crouch that Adam was the first Superman because he had dominion over the fowls there. That meant he could fly higher than any of them. That's straight out of hell. That ain't what the Word of God says. Amen. It says man's going to be above them. He's going to be different than what they are. Right. He's going to have more mentality than what they have. Right. Amen. Come on. Right. It, and he's going to go a little deeper in just a minute. But that's a lie straight out of hell. We've got to mean over them. I don't know about you, but I've been pretty close to flying. I felt the Spirit of the Lord. and It, it felt like gravity is about to turn loose, but I had to fall in. <laughs> Amen. One of these days, I'm going to take a plane air ride. Amen. Come on. But yeah, I hadn't done it yet. Amen. Listen. Oh. Glory to God. So God created man in His own image, and the image of God created him. Male and female created them. Created, created He them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over all over the fish of the sea, over the fowls of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given... You ever heard bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree, and the which is a fruit of the tree yielding seed. To you it is, it shall be for me. God had them all eat the same thing. Yeah. Huh? Come on. Blessing Jesus. They all eat the same thing. It wasn't no devouring one another. Right. Hey man, come on, church. Praise the Lord. And to every beast of the field, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth on the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb, and it was for me, and it was so. And God saw that the thing that He had made, and behold, it was good, and the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Now I'm going to stop there. And I'm going to jump over just a little bit. And I'm not going to read the scriptures. But God made man. And when he made Adam, he didn't have a help me. So God took his rib and made him a help me. But I want you to notice what God said. When he made Adam, he made him out of the dust of the earth. Huh? Read on if you want to find it for yourself. And it said, He breathed breath into his nostrils. Right. God breathed his breath into right. him. He didn't do with that all the other animals and right. fowls of their right. Right. Yes. Man is especially in God's sight. Yes. Right. Amen. Yes. And listen to what he said. He said, now, let us make man, let us make him in our image. 
God breathed breath into him and said he became a living soul. Yes. Yes. Amen. That's right. God made us for his pleasure. Yes, Lord. We became a living soul. The soul that we have in us is going to go on through eternity. Yes. Amen. Right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And God's intention was that man would serve him, honor him, amen. Do something with this thing. Damn, I don't have it now. Lord. But I want us to think about it. God breathed breath in Him. That made us, when God breathed breath in, into us and we became living. So that gave us that power right. above yes. all those other living creatures. Right. Yes. Amen. We're serving a mighty God. Yes, we are. How are you? Come on. I hope you can get us. If we could go back, if we could get America, if we could get the world to go back to the beginning. And not limit God. Realize that He is powerful. Yes. I, I look back and I think sometimes, you know, when I first got saved, how God was real and fresh to me. But sometimes I want to just stop there. I don't go back beyond there. That He was real and He was powerful before I was ever born. Yes. Come on. Amen. And I see where He has been limited from the time that I was born to now. God has been limited. His image has changed with man, but God's still the same. Yesterday, right. today, and forever. Yes. Amen. Yes. Now, I'm not going to hold you long, but I want to go over to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 for just a minute. Amen. Now, Brother Simi sings that song, God wouldn't make what He couldn't keep. And He wouldn't start what He couldn't complete. Everything I see so far that He started, He completed it. And guess what? It was good. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. It was good. God was pleased with it. Now, over in Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 20 says, Stand from all appearance of evil. Amen. Now, the theory today, and the, even in the modern church, is that you have to sin a little every day. Hmm? That's not what God's Word teaches. That's what my God, what God uh, created us for to go around and say, He created us to serve Him. Right. Amen. To please Him. Now, He would not have sent Jesus to deliver us from the bondage and from the bondage of Satan and the bondage of sin that was within us, the lust of the flesh, if He had not been able to complete it. Right. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. For us to be complete in the Lord, we've got to obey His Word. Yes. Amen. Because if you'll notice the Spirit moved, God said it had happened. If we'll allow the Spirit of God to move on us and listen to what He says, it'll happen just like He says. Yes. But we've got to abstain from the very appearance of evil, not try to see how much we can get by with. Right. How much right. will my church allow me to do? Right. Come on. Right. No, He didn't say for us that. We're supposed to see what God says about it. Right. Amen. And live for Him. In the, he said, be ye holy even as I'm holy. Yes. Come on. Praise the Lord. So He said here, we'll abstain from all evil, all the appearance of evil. Listen to what He says in verse 23. And the very God of peace sanctify you holy. Huh? If God couldn't do it, Paul wouldn't have said it. I don't have to sin every day. But I do have to abstain from the appearance of evil. If I don't, I'll sin. Mm -hmm. Come on. Blessing Praise God. the Lord. Listen. And the very God of peace sanctify you holy, and I pray God, your whole spirit and soul. Come on, church. We became a living soul right. when God breathed breath into the nostrils of Adam. Amen. 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 Praise Jesus. the Lord. And body people serve blameless under the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. His intention is for us to be preserved, sanctified, preserved holy, yes. and blameless until the coming of Jesus Christ. That don't mean I can do whatever I want to, and I'm, not going, to be, well, I'm going to be blameless. Amen. Jesus said, if you love me, you keep my commandments. He said, if we love him and keep not his commandments, we're a liar, and the truth's not in us. Uh, come on. Praise the Lord. Listen to what it says, and this is where I'm going to close at. It says, faithful as He that called you. If God has called us, He said, who also will do it. Only yes. what? Yes. 
He will keep to us. Yes, he will. Yes. If we'll listen to the Spirit, as His Spirit moves, come on now, He moved on the water. <laughs> if we'll listen to the Spirit, as the Spirit moves, if we'll obey Him, yes. it'll all turn out good. Yes, it will, brother. Oh, I, I tell you what, for the ones that's faithful, it's going to turn out good anyhow. Yes. Jesus yes. said He would say, Enter in, thou good and faithful Jesus. servant, unto the joy Amen. of the Lord. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Thou good. God expects us to be good. Right. He expects us to be faithful. Right. Amen. He didn't start us off this way, amen, so that we would fail. He's able to keep that. Yes, He is. Amen. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and I believe Paul said, He's able to keep that that I have committed unto Him. Yes, He is. If I commit myself unto the Lord, guess what? I'm going to feel His Spirit. Yes. Yeah. Man, brother. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't know about you. I feel him. This ain't no shouting message, but I feel him here tonight. I realize today what an awesome God, what a mighty God I serve. Yes. Yes. Today, yes. I realize yes. I, yes. I didn't go back to the, the Old Testament and to Exodus. You, I went back to the beginning. Yes. Amen. Amen. From nothing, you, God created everything right. that you see. Amen. Everything that you when you open your eyes and look out, you should see God. Yes. 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 yes, it should make you realize how awesome, yes. what a man God you and I serve yes. tonight. I don't know why people can't see that. And He would not start what He think, but He would not do. I've had people tell me, Well, I think maybe it's just too late for me, brother. I said, Did God ever deal with you? Well, yeah, I, I know these things happen. That's God dealing with you. You know you need to correct something. And if He wasn't going to deliver you, He wouldn't deal with you. Right. If there was no hope for you, you would never feel God dealing with you about anything. That's right. He'd turn you over to a rough bait mind. Let you believe a lie and be down. Yes. So if you can feel the Spirit of God dealing with you, yes. amen, there's hope for you. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. There's hope for you if you'll surrender to Him and obey Him. To be sanctified, yes, amen, holy, and that He would keep our soul and our spirit until the coming of our Lord Jesus yes, Christ. Amen. Thank you. amen. Thank you, Lord, help me to Jesus. remember daily. Yes. Help me to remember daily, Lord, Thank you, Lord Jesus. that you started all this yes. with nothing. Yes, Jesus. And look where it's at today. Yes, and I'm asked because of that serpent. Right. Amen. And here's the, here's the thing. God had gave Adam and Eve power over the serpent. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. yes, Come on. They were above the serpent. They had dominion over him right. until they started listening to him. That's right. And they said, yep. if we why don't we each belong to you the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, they said, God said, if we that gonna die, you'll surely not die. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, Heard somebody say he beat them out of the house and home. He got them thrown out of the garden, and when they came to realize and know right from wrong, they were held accountable. Yes. And the first thing they wanted to do was hide from God. Mm -hmm. yes. They had enjoyed the blessings of God. He'd right. come in the cool of the evening and he walked with them. And they had enjoyed it until they sinned against God and began to realize right from wrong. Mm -hmm. Instead of coming to God, they tried to hide. Yes. But God didn't let them hide. He just said, Adam, where art thou? Wherefore art thou? Uh, and he asked, he said, why'd you hide? He said, well, you know, Lord. And God didn't have to worry about Adam saying anything because when we looked at him, seen seemed fake. He was going to do something wrong. Right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Because up to that point, he had even been naked and didn't even realize it was naked. Amen. But when they ate of that tree, they got the knowledge of good and evil. And they realized that they needed a cover. Yes. God wasn't pleased with their cover. They took a fig leaf. God killed the animals, took the skins, and made a cover for them. God wasn't pleased with us being covered by the laws and the blood of lambs. He wasn't pleased because we would make sacrifices of lambs and of goats and, and, and bullocks and doves. That didn't please God. Amen. That's why He gave His Son. That's why He gave His Son. That you and I might have life and have it eternal. Amen. Yeah. Amen. The only way that I'm going to make it is being led of the Spirit. Be 
and yield to the Spirit of the Lord. I woke up way before daylight this morning with the thought on my mind, and the thought was that Adam hid from God. But as I got reading, God says, No, says you need to realize what a mighty God I am. Uh, if we can believe Genesis, we'll see just how mighty our God is. And all that can limit Him is our faith. I'm going to tell you something. You can't go back and believe that very first line in the beginning, God. If we can't believe that first chapter of Genesis, we can take the whole book and throw it away. Right. That's the so truth. Amen. So it started there. Jesus says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Go to first John, says, and again was the word, the word was with God. It goes on to say how he took on flesh, dwelt amongst us. Come on. Yes. Amen. Amen. And when he hung on that cross and he gave up ghosts, he said, It's finished. Yes. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm just looking for one promise that he hasn't kept. And there's one. There's a promise he hasn't kept. That's right. Yes. But it doesn't mean he's not going to. That's right. See, I've heard people say, Well, I've heard that all my life. It's his long suffering to us. Yes, right? thank you. Amen. Giving us an opportunity. Yes. But he said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare that place for you, I'll come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there you may be also. In the beginning was the Word with God. He said, let us come on. In the end, He's coming back to take us home to glory. That's the promise He has to give. But He is well able and He will keep that promise because we serve Him. A mighty God. Amen. Let us take the limits off of God. And let's start believing in Him in the fullness of His power. Not our power, but His power. Not the church's power, but His power. Amen. Maybe you and I can, but He can. Maybe our government can, but He can. Amen. So tonight, church, that's what I feel like the Lord gave us. And I hope you can help me to realize what a mighty God we yes. serve. Yes. What a mighty God. A mighty God. If we can yes. get that across to people, they're struck and running to and fro, they're doing this and that and the other. And all they need to do is turn to God. Yeah, turn to the Lord. I had to go back to what Shambach said back in the early 70s. I was driving up down the road and I was listening to him. Almost every program that I would hear, he would say, You don't have a problem. All you need. It's faith in God. Faith in God. And I believe I can stand on that tonight. You don't have a problem. I don't care what you're going through. You don't have a problem. All you need is faith in God. Yes. I've got faith in God that I'm not going to leave out of here until He says it's time. Yes. i got faith in God that if I'll shun the very appearance of evil, one day He's going to take me home and be with you. Amen. 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 Yes. Come on, church. Praise the Lord. Yes, amen. God, help us yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow, look at the heart. I, I started to tell Deanna not to uh, stream tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Because I feel like sometimes maybe folks are tempted to stay home and just yeah. watch the stream. Thank you, Jesus. And then I got to thinking, no. If God gave it to me, there might be somebody out there that needs it. Amen. And shame on anybody that could be in church tonight. Not just here, but throughout our nation. It's helped enough to be in church and they wouldn't. Right. Because they just didn't want it. Amen. I can stay home and watch TV. I can watch preaching on TV. No, you don't get much preaching on TV. You'll get, you'll get some, some goings on, but you won't get much preaching on and, and I'm going to throw this in. I'm cutting it off right there. We'll pray. We'll dismiss it. We'll go home. But I'm going to throw this in. Pray for Donald Trump. Amen. <coughs> I've seen today where Paul White is going to be his spiritual advisor to poor man needs prayer. Yes, he does. If that's his spiritual advisor, he needs prayer. Yes. Amen. Because he's not going to get much spiritual advice from something like that. And I shouldn't say that, maybe. But I believe Jesus said, warn, warn the people. Glory to God. Church, we need to get out of business. Yes. Praise the Lord. I know holiness ain't going to be accepted a whole lot anymore. 
but it's going to take wholeness because he said wholeness without which shall no man do what? We shall see God. See God. Right. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. We got service Sunday morning. We got ladies meet Friday morning at 10 30. 30. And then we got Sunday school 10 o'clock Sunday morning. Morning worship at 11. Sunday night service at 6. Let us not just pray when we just come to church. Let us not just worship God when we come to church. Let's keep a song in our hearts. Amen. Praise the Lord. Anybody got anything you want to say? Good message. If not, can you do this? Come tell Jesus on me. That's right. Would you come tell Jesus on me? I, mean, I need a touch from the Lord. But I especially want to give God the Word of God embedded in my heart. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you, God, for your presence. Lord, I thank you for that. I can feel the in my mind. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you